I want to share a deeply personal story with all of you. I think about seven years ago, I think in 2017, I was traveling from Hyderabad to San Francisco, and in the travel, I had viral arthritic fever. Typically, what happens is like chicken gunia and all, all the joints hurt badly, badly. You know, you just can't sit like. If you sit, these bones hurt. If you are moving your hand, these joints hurt. So, literally every every bone in my body was hurting, and I, you know, uh, I literally knew how many bones I had in my body and how many joints I had in my body because it was hurting miserably. I tried finding a doctor in the U.S. Thanks to the medical system, it takes quite some time to find an appointment with a doctor, some three days, and then finally the doctor just gives me, uh, you know, medicines to uh, manage. I went there for my Mulago Fellowship back then. I was working for 10-12 hours a day, and uh, after about 10-12 days, I came back to India, consulted uh, my doctor, and uh, he gave me a bunch of medicines. Uh, three times a day, four medicines uh, in the morning, four in the afternoon, four in the evening. So, almost 12 to 14 tablets, sometimes 16 tablets, I was asked to uh, take. I thought maybe this is like a one week, ten days affair. First month was over. Again, I go to the doctor. The doctor asks me to renew that for one more month because the pain was not reducing. This continued even in third month. I was asked to do bone density test, this test, that test, because all the, this pain was so excruciating. One fine day I said, hell with this. I need to find an alternative. I cannot just relish the thought of I popping in so many pills. I was, you know, not even 30 years old back then. So, uh, I went to Jindal Nature Cure. Uh, it's an institute in Bangalore, which uh, does naturopathy treatment and the first day I went and met the doctor and I told the doctor this is my problem uh, do whatever you want but you cannot ask me to not take these pills because if I stop taking those pills the body hurts it hurts excruciatingly the doctor um, smiled and said okay okay fine for one day you keep these medicines with you but try your best to not take them okay I will put you on a treatment which will probably reduce the need for you to take them. Try your best to not take them. So I said, okay, fine. And I was highly doubtful of that. I was mentally prepared, I'll have to take those again. Um, at the end of the day, first day, after some specific treatments, I could manage, barely, right? Not that the pain wasn't there. I could manage without uh, the painkillers and all those, you know, the, 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 the buffet of medicines. I could manage without that buffet of medicines. Next day morning, he, uh, I met him and uh, my doctor asked me, so Satya, how are you doing? I said, not bad. Then he said, oh, did you actually pop those medicines? I said, no, I didn't. Then he said, okay, so it's working, right? So now let's do for two more days and uh, let's see how it goes. And I think by end of third day, my pain was reduced to less than 20%. And all this was using natural processes. At the end of third day, he calmly sat me down and explained to me, these are the medicines that you are popping. This is say medicine one, which is a painkiller. Because of the painkiller, this is the consequence. Maybe the SADT, etc. is increasing in the body and for that you are getting, you are eating this medicine. Because of all these, you are eating this medicine which is more like a probiotic and then this medicine which is more for stabilizing the metabolism. So basically A leads to B to C to D and you know, you are just eating this, this bunch of medicine. So what I did was I understood the root cause for pain. So, the, when you have this kind of uh, pain, your uric acid level is shooting up in the body. I tried working on the uric acid level. I found ways to reduce your uric acid level in the body and then the rest of the things got set. Now, for about one year, I was asked not to eat things like dosa, idli and all. But that aside, 
I understood how important it is for wellness to be more more holistic for the medical system to be more holistic it is so common for us to say oh all this naturopathy or ayurveda all these are nonsense all these are ancient all these are more dogmatic my humble request is for people to think about the using first principles what works what is the reason behind those processes some of them if they are dogmatic we need not follow but not everything is just a myth or a superstition there is science there is a lot of nature science that goes into these kind of practices that does not mean we should abandon allopathic medicine or say that oh this doesn't work i think what we need in this world is a more holistic understanding of these you should follow natural practices to the extent possible so that you don't need to go into uh, an allopathic medicine but if there is a need to get into that medicine and if there is no other alternative if there is an emergency you can't be stupid to say i will not go and uh, see uh, you know see an allopathic doctor so i think that kind of harmonious understanding is required but really this is my appeal to all, all of you my friends think about your health your wellness in a more holistic way because there is no silver bullet there is no shortcut there is no just one method that fully meets our health requirements